What's up everyone? Uh, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. And uh, before we carry on, I thought I'd mention that in the when I when I uploaded in the previous video, instantly after it uploaded, I was doing my annotations like putting the part next part and previous part in the corners and just adding the video to the playlist. And by the time I finished doing that, I checked the video and it had it had four thumbs down. I thought, fucking hell, <laughs> where did they come from? I, I normally get one or two, but not four, all at, all, all at one time. I thought, fucking hell, what did I do? <laughs> I thought, shit. But then I, then I checked just now, and they've gone away. And I don't know what, what happened there. But anyway, let's carry on. I thought I'd mention that. I've got some bastards on my case now, maybe. And we're in a new area now as well. So it was a good idea scooping up all the treasures before carrying on the story. So we, we're now with Mario. Explore the villa auditory with Mario. It's a me, Mario. So, tell me everything. They executed Father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, Uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest. Hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I've never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it. But I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? Looks a bit impressive, gritty. Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Yeah. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished. Begin. Oh. Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to get this. Uh... And if you find yourself I have prepared room for you on the top floor of the villa. I want to get this. Uh... Viewpoint. Might as well. So yeah, this place is pretty small, so. We should be able to pick up all that, any collectibles pretty easy. Now what's that? Fine armor.
that guy. See, we've got, we've got the money, we've got the moonlight, don't worry about that. Let's have a look at the map, see if there's anything on there. Just that for health. And this. Codex wall. You say visit the doctor. You require a medical assistance. Trust. You'll soon feel much better, friend. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, I don't need to just yet. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Well, this is home for now. Open your inventory to manage your items and equipment. Salute, uncle. Salute. As you asked. And quickly, too. Fan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimum. They learn how to fight from Mario. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was well, an I can't assassin. Sit back, if I'm... I told you before. My father was a paper pusher. No. He was born and bred to kill. Ben, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars. It reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's plate. I think you have the codex page he was holding as well. Codex? See, the guy is the inner work of the order. Its origin, purpose, and techniques. Our kingdom. Your father believed the codex contained a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. Perhaps. Why they came for him. What? I pushed the dodge and it didn't. 
do it. Bring it on. <laughs> You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued their nefarious work. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle. For all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait! Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose, given his heritage. Okay, go to Mario. So he's through a strop and he's gonna get his own way. everyone. They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to quick. join them. You'll find what you need at the table. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. Ah, so that's what the feathers are for. Right. Two of a hundred. There we go. I wonder if I can buy the map to show me all the collectibles.
Now let me just check the map first, just in case. Uh, nope. So yeah, just like the first one, we're probably going to be going places like this. Right, where do you want to go? this treasure already it's you what are you doing taking responsibility Vieri troubles you because of me <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Babeme, then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Help Mario and his men assassinate Vieri de Pazzi. Oh, what is it? Instantly night time. <laughs> All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, Get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let wow. us begin. Al attacco! Come on, move! Right, I think I've done it. There's a fucking wanted poster there. So where do we go now? Well done, Ezio. We are in. This way, men. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Pieri. Va bene. 
Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? Ah, is he going to be done? Again, so you should follow. Instead, he's turned us into nursemaids. And what? Give me a minute. Shooting his mouth. Let's go. Angering the wrong sorts of people. And so now, we pay the price. Careful. What do you want to strike before him like Bernardo was? Poor boy. Bastard. I heard the bear, he took his eyes. I'd like to keep mine. So... So dark, I can't fucking see. I can just about see the red bits above the characters. <laughs> Look at the case of them in the back, it's so, so sketchy. Is still around. Man, I'm too old for that capo. Oh, I'll get that while I'm here. Where have they gone? I've got one throw in there. my way, I can't see. <laughs> I don't know if the combat system in this one is better than the first one. This one it seems a bit more Funky. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Yeah, it's really weird the combat in this one. Justice is served. Okay, so I've got to go up ahead. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I should have gone up the fucking ladder. Wanted poster around here somewhere.
Fucking slow. See, the collectibles to me are like a distraction. Like... <laughs> oh, there's the bastard. It's settled. Pieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the Jacopo. citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we've finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. <sighs> Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. He's up there. Min. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? Uh, I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Trezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. <sighs> oh shit, just look, 30 minutes. <laughs> I think I need to buy some more knives though.
can't even move. But yeah, I'm about to wrap this video up here, guys. So whoever's watching it, you know, let's just check if I can buy any maps. No. So. Yeah, I'm going to call it a day here now. I'm going to get just, just before where we have to be and then I'll stop. Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, show some support and uh, thumb up my video. <laughs> Not thumb, give me four thumbs down, you know. But anyway, I'll see you in part 10, I believe, and we'll go a bit further. So, yeah, peace, bye bye.